Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today we are looking at Builder Figure Juggernaut. This guy took me a while to get together, um, and I must say he is pretty awesome, okay? So first and foremost, uh, this guy is a very big figure, much bigger than I thought he'd be. Um, kind of hard to get him in focus. Let me scoot back just a bit. Um, he is every bit a uh you know 10 inch figure okay so he's a big boy okay um they did a very good job on the colors uh, although it's like more of a muted brown and then some of the uh textures especially on the head so if you look at the head here very nice um very nice textures on the arms wrist fist um, and then his belt, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool, you know, um, very nice figure overall. And as you see in the background, um, I have some, uh, Juggernaut comics. Well, he's actually, when he was in the, uh, Thunderbolts. And then there he is again, uh, behind Luke Cage, a little hard to see, but I do like this guy. He's a very nice, uh, build a figure, very tall, um, not as heavy as you might think for his size. Um, and, you know, I don't get into the articulation as much as others, but needless to say, he has very good articulation, um, especially for a big guy. Um, he's a little lighter than he looks, um, as I said before, but the balance when they made this guy was very good. As you saw, I had him standing on one leg um, during the intro. I mean, look at that. That's not very, you're not gonna really do that too often. You know, and I can't, of course, I'm having a little more trouble doing it now, but that's the wrong camera. So look at that smile. Isn't that gorgeous? So um, what do I think about this guy? Is he worth collecting and putting together? If you don't have the Marvel Select one, he could definitely be worth it. Um, if you have the Marvel Select one, he may not be worth the cost of putting them together. Because um, he is going to run anywhere on eBay to around... 70 to you know 45 dollars um that's just kind of high and low from what i've seen um just some kind of size comparisons here here he is next to havoc and havoc is your typical six and a half six uh, inch character and you can see he rather dwarfs him i mean it's no contest but again very nice figure i do recommend um picking him up if you can if you have the funds expenses Otherwise, uh, until then, see you next time.